Hello, it's Eric here once again. In today's video, we are going to compare the strength of an interlocking brick to a bent brick. This video is divided into three sections. The first one is going to be where we build an interlocking brick pillar and also a bent brick pillar. After that, we are going to hit it with a mallet to see which one can withstand the pressure or can withstand the hit. The second part is going to be a drop test where we drop an interlocking brick and also a bent brick. The last one or the last part is something I call the endurance test where we are going to put a load on the two bricks for a period of time to see which one can withstand or break down. So let's start with the first part. So now we have our two feet pillars here. On my left, you can see our interlocking brick pillar here, neatly done. And on my right, we have our bent brick pillar here. Also, when you look at the head pan, you can see that there is an amount of cement left for the interlocking brick, whilst there is nothing left for the bent brick. So it's time to hit the two. We are going to hit both five times to see which one can withstand or which one will go down. So, three, two, one, we hit. We hit again. Three, two, one, we hit. We are going the, sec the third time. Three, two, one, we hit. We are going the fourth time. Three, two, one, we hit. That is the last one. Three, two, one we hit okay so we can see our bent brick some going down here so now we are coming to our interlocking brick let's look at how that one can also withstand or if it will also go down so three two one we hit three two one we hit three two one we hit now we are going the fourth time Three, two, one, we hit. We are doing the last one. Three, two, one, we hit. So we can see the difference now. We can see that the interlocking brakes is still standing. But if we look at the bent brakes, you can see that some has gone down. So as I stated earlier on, we are going to do a drop test, which is the second part. I'm going to drop the interlocking brakes twice to see if it breaks down. So I'm going to drop it first one mm -hmm. so the second time we go the second time the interlocking brakes is still standing now we are dropping the bent brakes as well so we are going to drop that twice as well so we are dropping one I'm dropping the second time. Two. The bed breaks is also standing. That is the last part of the video. 
I'm going to stand on this interlocking brick for five minutes to see if it will break down. You can see from this last test that the interlocking brick is still strong. So we are going to do the same for the bent brick. I'm going to stand on it for five minutes. We can also see from the bent brick that it's able to withstand the load. This brings us to the end of our strength test. We leave it to you to judge which one you think is best. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on all our social media platforms, IG and at Enobricks on our website, www.enobricks.com.